What's up, everyone? Jonathan Barry Throwbacks. Um, I got uh, Evans Field unboxing. Um, this is uh, second time where it's, this isn't actually for me. This is my brother's, but he's letting me videotape him. Uh, it's actually two hats, one for him and one for his friend. So uh, we're just gonna open them up and talk a little bit about them. Yeah, I messed the dogs all a lot. There we go. So, has the usual covering on the hats. So what we have here is we got a 1940. Um, I had to write this one out. Uh, the Tokyo. Uh, uh, Ko Koyin, Kojin, or the Giants, better known as, to a lot of people here as the Giants. The team that uh, Sadahar Sadaharu O, oh, I think that's how you say it, um, played for, um, which is known as the, the world home run champion. He had uh, over 800 home runs uh, in the Nippon Professional League, or yeah, Nippon Professional Baseball League, which is what this hat is, the team he played for. Now, this is a 1940 hat, which he um, wasn't on the team yet at that time, so he did not. I mean, I don't know how long they ended up wearing this hat, but uh, from my, I don't think he ended up wearing this hat, but that's that. Next one we got is from the Pacific Coast League. We got the Salt Lake City, or the Salt Lake Bees. This is from 1925, which was actually their last year in the Pacific Coast League before they moved uh, down, uh, moved to Hollywood and became the Hollywood Stars. Both hats are, um, with that uh, not fitted, the, uh, what do you call it, the, strap back so now we'll get a little bit more into the hats and a little bit of the history so with the uh giant's hat you got this emblem here which actually means um it's the emblem the japanese character for giant man so and obviously they're called the giants so that's what this emblem is right here um also with uh the habitats some come with a soft brim hat um bill because um I'm assuming that's what the teams wore at the time. Certain teams, like my Seals hat, is a um, is not a soft brim, so this is a soft brim. So if you're someone who doesn't like, you know, a super loose brim, make sure you look at the description of the hats. Evans does a great job of describing them, and it says on it um, "soft visor." So if you're someone who doesn't like a loose, you know, visor, then don't get one that says "soft visor." Get one that says. Um, let me see what it says. Yeah, okay, get the ones that say standard visor because those are the ones that are going to be um, not soft. So this is a soft visor. And also the bees one is a soft visor too. So you see it's it, soft. But like I said, they explain that. So people who complain about that obviously didn't read the description. So that's on you. So read that. Some hats come with soft visor and that's based off whatever the teams wore at the time. So like I said, they keep it authentic um, to the time. A um, couple things about the Salt Lake Bees. So the Bees actually have some, um, like I said, Pacific Coast League team. They actually have some connections with the Bay Area, which makes them kind of relevant to my channel. Um, Tony Lazari uh, was a major league player, played mostly for the Yankees, born in San Francisco. He actually led the, um, he had 60 home runs for Salt Lake that year, the Bees, in 1925, the year that this hat is supposed to represent. And then he had his teammate Lefty O'Doul, who, if you've seen my channel, you know, I've talked about him a good amount. Um, born in San Francisco, played for the New York Giants, um, basically a San Francisco baseball legend. He led the league in hits that year um, as a member of the Salt Lake Bees. So even though it's not a Bay Area team, they definitely had some Bay Area ties, which was nice to know. So on the crown, you got the uh, that white cream kind of color with the pinstripes. It's a wool hat. You also got a black wool visor. The B is embroidered. Like I said, this one comes with a soft visor, so it's it, it's very um, it's gonna fold very easy. So if you don't like that, you know, then get the standard visor.
You got the green satin under visor, which is a staple of the Evitz hat. You got the satin sweatband. You got Evitz, made in USA. Comes with this, which comes on their jerseys as well. Then it comes with that right there to keep it nice. And then the one that my brother got is the um, adjusted, uh, the leather strap where you can adjust it with the brass closure. Now you can choose either to get it in a fitted size, which is what I go for, or the um, leather strap adjustable side, site or adjustable type, which is what my brother likes. Now for the Tokyo Giants, we got the same, we got that uh, wool crown. We got the wool soft visor with the white felt right there, um, logo, which like I said, um, it's a Japanese character for giant men or giant man. So you got that, same thing at the bottom. You got that green satin visor. Like I said, this is a very, um, bends very easy because it's a soft visor. So once again, just letting you know. Inside is pretty much all the same as this bees hat. They always come with these to keep it nice. Just the inside. Same thing with the back. And yeah, so that's that. So those are the two hats. I'll just get them right now side to side real quick. Evan's always doing a great job. I have a, um, a SEALs hat on the way right now that I should be getting this week. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, 1925 Salt Lake Bees of the Pacific Coast League and the 1940... Um, Tokyo uh, Kyojin or Giants um, ball caps.